Everyone carries around a cell phone, but do you know how they work? Believe it or not, they work in a similar manner as smoke signals and telegraphs. Never played with fire? Well done. Safety first. However, instead of dots and dashes or that dangerous smoke, cell phones use electromagnetic waves. That's all well and good, Professor, but what's an electromagnetic wave? Well, Jimmy, I'm glad you asked. An electromagnetic wave is exactly what it sounds like. It's a wave of electric and magnetic fields. But what's a wave? Oh, Jimmy. A wave is simply an oscillation that travels through space or matter. For example, when you are out taking a hike and stop to toss a rock in the pond, ripples form on the surface and expand outward. Those ripples are waves. As we are all aware, you can describe the wave by the height of its ripple, its amplitude, and by how many ripples cross a given point every second. That is its frequency. In cell phones, instead of rocks forming ripples in the pond water, moving electrons form waves in the electric and magnetic fields. Now, unlike the ripples in the water, which oscillate very slowly, the electric and magnetic fields and the electrons oscillate very quickly, billions of times every second. Whenever this occurs, we refer to as that electromagnetic wave as a microwave. Microwaves are able to propagate very long distances at literally light speed, satisfying the demands of our society for long distance, high speed communication. That's great, Professor. How do I speak microwave? Oh, Jimmy, you can't speak microwave. But we can use microwaves to communicate through something called modulation. Modulation? Isn't that a commie trick? Oh, Jimmy, not since the war. No, modulation you may think sounds similar to modify, and you'd be correct. Because modulation is simply modifying an electromagnetic wave, for example, changing its amplitude or its frequency or its phase in order to carry data. It's similar to when I speak to you. I use volume and tone and pitch to connote information to you. Like I say, oh, great, Jimmy. But what I'd really like to say to you is, oh, great, Jimmy. So by modulating electromagnetic waves, we embed information in them to transmit. Now that we understand electromagnetic waves, let's look inside a cell phone. Jimmy, what you see here is a futuristic iPhone 4S. There are many chips connected on a board that work together to convert your voice or text message into a microwave signal flying through the air. Let's follow a voice signal through the phone to see how it's processed. First, your voice, which is just a pressure wave, is converted by a microphone to an electrical signal. This electrical signal is then digitized so that it can be modified by software in whatever way we deem necessary. Once it is modified, it is transformed into an analog signal. But this signal is very low frequency. And remember, we want to operate at the microwave level. So we must convert it up to a high frequency. Once it's been converted, the signal is not very strong. But we want to pump, pump, pump the power in so that we have enough strength to send that signal all the way to the cell phone tower via the antenna and it will become an electromagnetic wave on its way through the air. Now let's say you want to have someone talk to you or send you a message. Then the process is reversed. The signal is sent to your antenna and then converted all along the way back to the speaker where it becomes an audio signal once again. And now, Jimmy, you know how a cell phone works. But Professor, it's 1957. What's a cell phone?